Hey, it's Jeremy. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on how to overlay text on an image in Illustrator CC. Someone asked in the comments how to do this, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on it. It's really simple and really cool. You can get some nice effects. You don't have to jump into Photoshop. You can do it all in Illustrator. So first up, what we're going to do is get some images on unsplash.com. They're free high res images. And you can see here, I've already got some that I've downloaded. Uh, about from the outdoors and camping and things and you can see I picked this nice um, tree image so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab it just drag and drop it into Illustrator and these images are high res so they're really useful and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit just like that and we can create a custom artboard but I want to show you a trick on how to make an artboard from the size of this image what we're gonna do is go to the top left corner click object, go down to artboards and click fit to selected art. Make sure your object or the image is selected and then you can do this and just click fit select to selected art. And you can see now if I drag it, you can see it's got a artboard behind it now. So now when we, when we save this, it's going to save the whole size of this image, which is pretty cool. But if you need specific sizing, you can just go use the artboard tool by pressing shift O, drag an artboard, and then whatever size you need, you can just go type it up the top here and you can use that. But I'll delete that for now. So we have this image and what I'm going to do, I'm going to press control, control two, and that's just going to lock the image. And what I like to do is you can see how it's a bit too bright and I want to, there to be enough contrast with the type and the background. So what I do is press M for the marquee tool. I'm going to just drag a box over the top of the image and we're going to make sure that box is black. I'll turn off the stroke and just keep the fill on black and I'm going to go into my transparency panel. Mine's just up here on the right but you can go to window up the top left corner and go to transform to get that window up. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the blending mode to multiply and I'm going to drop it down to about 40%. So you can see there it's made it more subtle, added a bit more contrast and made it more darker. And you can play around, you know, I wouldn't go, you know, more than like 60, 70% because it's going to be too dark and you won't see the image. But around 40% is pretty, is pretty cool. So I'll just lock that as well. And so I've got those two locks. That's my background now. And it can be any image. I can just swap it out if I want to and leave the black there, which is pretty super cool. And what I'm going to do is press T for the type tool. And I'm just going to left click once and I'm just going to get my selection tool and just scale this up holding shift and I'm going to change it to white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a nice font that I like. I'm going to pick uh, Nick Ailey. It's a free script font. This is pretty cool. And I'm just going to type. I will change the paragraph settings to centered, the alignment. So I'm just going to uh, uh, change the lighting to make it more closer to each other. And you can see we've got outdoor adventure. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to <coughs> go to the left hand side. I'm going to right click on this button here. You can see it's like two squares with an arrow. That's the scale tool. I want to change it to the she tool. And what I like to do is just to shift it a tiny bit. So holding shift, I'm going to shift it maybe at a five angle degrees just to make it, you know, a bit more different and not look like the default. And we're going to give it a bit of like angle to it. Um, you can see here, I don't like this, how it's got the two, um, the two capitals at the front. You can see how the spacing was a bit off. What I like to do with this is I'll select the top part here and I'm going to hold alt if you're on a Mac it's going to be option and just press the right arrow key so we're just pretty much bumping the tracking there and then what I'm going to do is select it press Control a to select all the type and I'm going to hold alt or option again and I'm going to press up and that's going to change the letting the space between the lines you can see that I just drag it like this. So you can see now the space looks a lot more better on the eye. It look it has a more flow to it instead of like a blocking blocking the, the white space here. 
So yeah, we have that and then you can add some more types. So maybe I want to add some extra. So I'll press T for the type tool, click once again. I'm just going to drag it up and maybe you want to call it the outdoor adventure. I'll change that to white and maybe I'll go with Bernia. Bernia shade. And I'll try and center it. That's a bit too off. Just use your eye to center it. Make it a bit bigger. And cool, and there we have it. We added some simple type to a, a background image in Illustrator CC. You can play around, get some cool effects, and hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So click the subscribe button, because I post tutorials often. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what tutorials you want to see, what you want to learn, and I can definitely post something to help you out. So yeah, thanks guys. Enjoy your week.